فعاش القلب إخلاصا وفرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير. I want to tell you a very good message, something very very interesting. If I were to ask you who is the most loved unto Allah, the answer is Muhammad, peace be upon him. If I were to ask you who is the highest of creation, the most noble of all prophets of Allah, the answer is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Have you ever thought Allah loves him more than you and I, but he never sat in an aircraft? Allah loved him more than you and I, but he has never had a watch. Allah loved him more than you and I, but he never had a tap which he could turn on and the water would come out from. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have a fan or electricity. Allah loved him more than you and I, he never had a car. Forget about Mercedes, he never even had a Toyota. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have a bicycle. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have the type of clothing that we have that goes to show that everything we have is irrelevant in the eyes of Allah. It's got to do with who is closer to Allah, who gets Jannatul Firdaus. Remember that. When you have things, it's not a sign of the happiness of Allah. Sometimes maybe when you don't have it, it's a sign of the happiness of Allah. You follow what I'm saying? But if Allah has blessed you, there's no harm. Let your blessings bring you closer to Allah and make you humble. Some people when they have the blessings, they turn away from Allah. Some people when they have blessings, they become arrogant. Remember my brothers and sisters, two things will take you to paradise. Taqwallahi wa husnul khuluqi. Be conscious of Allah and treat the other people with a lot of respect. I call on you to do those two things.